In this video, I'm going to highlight uh, these price levels and the intraday aspects that are important today. So the price levels are sim similar to the ones carried forward from yesterday. You can see uh, some key time points from yesterday were marked where uh, some trades were triggered, where the price and time came together. Uh, 7.45 in the morning, we traded off the green line at that price level. Uh, small move here on the second line at 11.04. We were really uh, in a consolidation area. We came back, tested that orange line again on a timeline that triggered along, which went for uh, about 12 points. And then the last trigger was a retest of that orange line again at... Uh, 1320 triggered off uh, pretty good uh, like 20 some point move there for today we had uh, these time points uh, working off the same set of price levels we've got the first one came at 736 you can see we got a pivot on the timeline but it wasn't at the price level and we were trading inside this very narrow range or this prior swing and now we broke below that line. We're just hitting our time point now. So it looks like this one is going to be averted as well since we're not getting time and price together. The next trigger point is uh, 923. Then we've got 11. After that, we're looking at about 1205. 1205, 1208, then 1235, uh, 1317, just before 2 o'clock, 1400, and then lastly around 1437. Uh, the Astro XL was projecting down, so we're expecting this downside uh, pressure to continue. Should we trade up, there's key overhead resistance at this uh, two-line level where I've marked these uh, two arrows. So right up here in that 38.85 area is very critical overhead resistance. And then on the downside, this point that I mentioned the other day, earlier this week at um, 38.12 area is going to be a very important support area and it looks like we're possibly going to challenge that here now within the next hour so we'll see how that plays out but anyway there's your key price levels and key times for today